I know you've been scrolling through YouTube lately, and you probably noticed the flood of AI-generated shorts. They're everywhere, people cranking out content with AI tools like crazy. But let's be real for a second. Most of these videos kind of look the same, right? Same robotic voices, same generic animations. It's almost like they're just copying each other, hoping something sticks. But here's the thing, if you really want to stand out, you need other skills. You've got to add your own spin, your own style to make it fresh. So, in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to make AI shorts that will go viral. We're talking about making content that actually grabs attention, feels original, and keeps people watching. Whether you're new to AI or you've been experimenting for a while, I'll break down how you can use these tools in a way that works for you without losing that creative touch that makes your videos stand out. And seriously, AI shorts are taking over right now. You can't scroll for more than a few seconds without seeing one. And it makes sense. AI tools make it super easy to make videos that fast. People are using them for everything. Animations, stories, even music. Everyone is trying to ride the wave. And the crazy part is that these videos are getting tons of views. But with so many people hopping on this trend, it's getting harder to stand out. That's why using the right tools and learning the right skills is essential. So let's start with the most important skill, which is how to choose viral topics. It's the golden key if you want your AI shorts to blow up and stand out. First, you gotta stay on top of what's trending. Check out what's popping off right now on the shorts feed. Viral topics are usually tied to current events, stories, or something super relatable that everyone's talking about. But don't just jump on any trend. You want to find ones that fit your niche or something you can add a unique twist to. For example, there was a recent trend where people make fake messages shorts using AI-generated images and sound effects. You can definitely jump on something like that, but instead of just copying the trend, put your own spin on it. Maybe add some humor, a surprising twist, or a different storyline. The secret is to take what's already working and make it your own, so it feels fresh and stands out from the rest. Another hack is looking at what's worked in the past. Use tools like Google Trends or even check out the most viewed videos in your niche. This gives you an idea of what your audience already loves. Once you've got a few topics, think about how you can approach them differently. That's how you pick viral topics that people actually want to watch. Now let me show you how to create similar shorts to the viral one you've already found. First, go to the first website in the description, then sign up. Once you're logged in, you'll see a bunch of different features that we're gonna break down step by step. Start by hitting the Reddit Stories button or whatever video you want to create, and you'll land on the main page where all the magic happens. You'll see sections for your script, text styles, footage, and audio. It's all set up so you can create everything in one place. Let's start with generating the AI script. Click on AI script. Here's where you can type in the topic of your Reddit story and you also get to choose the tone and style of the video. You can make it funny, serious, or even informative. It's totally up to you. You'll also have the chance to write your intro or hook right here, which is key because the hook is what gets people's attention. So make it something that grabs them right away. Then, you can write your CTA, like telling viewers to like, comment, or subscribe at the end of the video. You'll also have options to choose the length of the script. If you've already found a Reddit post you love, you can paste the Reddit link in the Reddit link box and hit Get Reddit Post. The tool will automatically pull in the post and turn it into a script for you. Once it's all good, click Use Reddit Story. Now things are getting fun. You can pick the font and style for your captions in the video. Personally, I like going with something simple and clean. It just works. After that, choose your background gameplay footage. This is the part where you can get a little creative. My personal favorite, the classic GTA car scene. It gives the whole video that cool vibe, and it works with almost any story. Next, you can choose a voiceover artist. There are a ton of voice options, so you can pick the one that matches your video's tone. You can even adjust the voice settings to make it sound just how you want. Once you've got everything the way you want it, hit Generate Story and let the tool do its work. Once the generation is complete, you'll be sent to the editing tool, where you can make any last minute tweaks or adjustments. You can fix any mistakes, tweak the footage, and make sure everything's polished before hitting Export. After a few minutes of exporting, you've got your Reddit story short ready to go. And the best part? All of that took just a few minutes to create. Super fast, right? It's seriously that easy. Alright, now I'm going to show you how to jump on the fake text trend. And the process is pretty much the same as the Reddit stories. First, click on the fake text videos button. Then, hit the AI script option. And now you'll see the same layout. Topic. Tone. CTA and script length. 
Just like before, you can paste a link to an existing fake text short if you want the tool to work off that. Once that's done, click Generate Script, and the tool will create a full conversation for you. Now, you can totally customize the conversation to make it look how you want. You can change the text, adjust the alignment, and even add the name of the person you're texting with. This is where you can get creative with the chat's look and flow. Next, you can choose the theme of the conversation. Personally, I like going with a black background. It keeps it sleek and easy to read. After that, pick your background gameplay. Classic cars are my go-to, but feel free to pick whatever fits your vibe. Now it's time to choose your AI voiceover. There are lots of voice options here, so pick one that matches the tone of your video. Once you've got everything set up, hit Generate Video, and the tool will start putting everything together. Once that's ready, you'll be in the editing tool where you can make any last-minute changes. You can adjust the appearance, tweak the profile picture, mess with the text height, and add cool animations to make it pop. After you've got it looking perfect, head to the editing timeline to do any final adjustments. Then hit Export. When it comes to making shorts that really pop, there are a few key tips you need to keep in mind. First off, you've got to grab attention immediately. The first two, three seconds are crucial, so hit them a surprising hook or a catchy sound that pulls people in right away. If you don't catch them fast, they'll scroll past without a second thought. Next, keep things simple and focused. Shorts are short for a reason, so don't try to cram too much info or story into one video. Pick one main idea or message and stick to it. This helps keep your audience from getting confused or overwhelmed. And when you're explaining something, be clear and direct. Nobody has time for complicated things. Captions are another game changer. Tons of people watch without sound, so having captions makes sure they're not missing out on your message. Plus, it keeps them engaged longer. Lastly, mix things up. Test what works best for your style and audience. The more you experiment, the better your chances of creating something that catches on. If you found this helpful, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe for more tips, and drop a comment if you've got any questions. I'd love to hear what you're working on. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, I'm sure you will like this one too.